Hi guys, welcome to Step 9. In this video, I am going to solve naman tayo ng isang math challenge problem, no? Uh, and uh, this problem came from the lectures of the Institute of Math in UP Diliman. Isa sa mga slides nila, no? Doon ko nakuha. So, uh, gusto ko rin silang, ano siyempre, i-acknowledge. Now, how do we solve no, this uh, problem? By the way, kung gusto nyo i-pause muna, no? Uh, para i-solve nyo on your own, pwede nyo i-pause o kaya close nyo yung video and then come back later. So, I'll give you 3 seconds to pause the video. 3, 2, 1. Okay, so isolve na natin, no? Um, medyo mahirap ito, no? Kasi, uh, rational expression siya. Tapos may square. So, hindi naman siya mahirap, pero maraming terms, no? Na pwedeng gawin. So, pwede nyo yung... Uh, of course, there are many ways to solve this, pero I think yung ipapa kita ko sa inyo ay ang most efficient. No? I think, no? I think, baka meron pang mas efficient dito. So, merong x plus 1 over x dito, no? Tapos may x minus 1 over x dito. Baka pwede natin sila gawing pareho, no? So, magiging 2 times x plus 1 over x. Gawin natin sila parehong x plus 1 over x by putting a parenthesis, no? x plus 1 over x. No, pag dinistribute natin yung minus dito, di ba? Babalik siya dito. Babalik siya sa unang expression. No? Ibig sabihin, yung dalawang yan ay same uh, this expression and this expression are, are just the same. No? So, wala tayong problema kasi pareho lang naman sila. Wala tayong binago doon sa problem. Next, um, ano kayo sa tingin yung pwedeng gawin natin? Pwede nyo i-post ulit kung may hint na kayo. Tapos nyo i-solve on your own. Okay. Pwede natin let, let y equals x plus 1 over x. Para yung x plus 1 over x, papalitan na natin yung ng y. Mas, mas ano siya, mas, uh, mas makes it, no? So, ibig sabihin, the equation above will be 2 uh, y squared equals 10 minus y. Diba? Which means that 2y squared minus y plus, oh, plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. So this is quadratic na yan. Diba? This is a quadratic equation. Ibig sabihin, pwede na natin yung i-factor o pwede natin gamitin ng quadratic formula. Pero baka pwede i-factor muna natin. No? So, kung alam nyo yung factoring, pwede kayo mag-trial and error. Usually naman, trial and error lang yung factoring. No? So, 2y squared, yung kanyang first term, meaning, dalawa lang naman yan, di ba? 2y at saka y. Tapos, yung kanyang c, no, ay negative 10, which means na 5 and negative 2 or uh, 5 and negative 2 or negative 2 and 5. Pero tignan nyo ha, pag nilagay ko yung 5 dito, at saka 2, magiging 4 at saka 5, di ba? And 5 minus 4 is equal to 1, di ba? So, meaning, magpa plus 5 ako dito, saka magma minus 2 ako dito. Para 5y minus 4y equals 1y. Yung middle term natin, no? Hindi ko na i-detalhe ito, no? Kasi factoring ito at uh, meron tayong series on factoring. So, ang assumption ko dito ay marunong na kayo. Otherwise, you have to uh, study factoring or watch our uh, video series on factoring. Okay, so equal 0. They are 0 if 2y plus 5 equals 0 or y minus 2 equals 0, diba? So, 2y plus 5 equals 0, y minus 2 equals 0, which means that 2y equals negative 5, and y equals negative 5 over 2, or y equals 2. Okay? So, progress na tayo, no? 
pero yan ba yung ating sagot no no uh, because we're not looking for the value of y we're looking for the value of x okay so uh, meaning meaning um yung y natin pwede natin balita ng x plus 1 over x no? so Ano yun? Anong value ng y? Negative 5 over 2 tsaka 2. So, magiging x plus 1 over x x plus 1 over x equals negative 5 over 2 tsaka x plus 1 over x equals 2. Negative 5 over 2 tsaka 2. Okay? So, meaning, tatanggalin ulit natin yung uh, denominator, no? So, sa x plus 1 over x equals negative 5 over 2, yung ating denominators are 2 and x, no? So, ang LCM nyan, ang LCM nyan ay 2x, meaning, again, this is uh, another concept, no? Uh, this is... Uh, getting the LCM of rational expressions. No? So, ang LCM niya ay 2x. Multiply natin both sides by 2x. Ito ang LCM niya ay x. Multiply both sides by x. Okay? So, meaning this is 2x squared plus makakancel yung x magiging 2 equals magiging uh, ano ito? Maka-cancel tong 2. Maka-cancel yung 2. Negative 5x. Tapos dito naman, magiging x squared. Remember, or ito ah. And then, x times 1 over x is just 1. Equals 2x. So, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0. So, uh, nilipat ko yung 5x sa kaliwa para... 0 na lang yun nasa kanan. So, this time, uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, nagkaroon tayo ng quadratic, no? This is uh, another quadratic uh, equation, which means that we have to factor again, no? Or use the quadratic formula pag hindi kaya. Uh, this is, yung x squared minus 2x plus 1, I think this is obvious na x minus 1 times x minus 1 was 0. Obvious siya, no? Which means that x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 equals 0 x equals 1 x equals 1. So, puro naman or yan, no? Pwede rin natin lagi ng or dito. So, pareho lang itong dalawang ito, no? So, pwede yung isa na lang x equals 1. Ito magiging 2x tsaka x, no? 2 ang c natin, so 2 times 1. 2 times 1. Pag nag 2 times 1 tayo dito, 2x 4x lang siya. Kulang. So, balik ta rin natin. Nandito ang 2, nandito yung 1. So, plus so, magiging x plus 2x, which is 5x, no? Meaning, tama tayo, no? So, this is equal to 0, which means that 2x plus 1 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0, which means that 2x equals negative 1, and x equals negative 1 half x plus 2 equals 0 which means that x equals negative 2 okay, so yung solution set natin solution set natin ay at least potential solution kasi pwedeng pag sinubstitute natin doon sa original equation posibleng hindi siya solution no? may mga pagkakataong ganun no? so you have to check no? uh, but I checked this earlier and 
lahat naman sila ay solutions. So, our solution set is negative 1 half, negative 2, and 1. So, yan yung value, values of x, no? doon sa pinapasolve natin na equation. Pinapasolve natin na equation. Those are the values of x. So, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1 half, at saka 1. Yan yung sagot natin. Okay, so sana may natutunan kayo. Ang dami natin natutunan ng concept dito ng factoring, um, representing an expression with another variable, tapos, uh, uh, ano pa pa, getting the LCM of uh, rational expressions para uh, masimplify natin siya. So, uh, meron tayong series on rational expression, pwede yung tignan kung medyo mahirap ito sa inyo. No? So, sana may natutunan kayo dito. I'll uh, see you in the next uh, tutorial. Uh, huwag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe sa ating channel. No? Medyo pahirap na pahirap yung ating ano, math challenge. No? But hopefully, ay na-appreciate ito ng mga ibang uh, medyo advanced students na. No? Okay, so subscribe kayo sa channel natin and uh, visit our website at sitnayan.com. See you!